My name is Ethan Danahy, and I'm a research assistant professor here at Tufts University. And I'm Aaron Johnson. I'm a postdoctoral research associate at Tufts. We co-teach a first-year intro to engineering course here at Tufts around robotics, where we use group projects and different challenges to introduce our students to the engineering design process. In preparing for the semester, we were looking for assignments that included aspects of real-world engineering problems. We were inspired by a YouTube video of astronaut Don Pettit being creative with an educational Lego kit while aboard the International Space Station. He was leveraging that tool during a physics experiment. We really liked his innovative use of that tool and how the interactions between the Lego and the real world objects he used all within the context of near zero gravity in space. Aaron and I had conversations about how we could leverage these ideas and create an appropriate challenge for our first year engineers to design, build, develop, and program, and then also iterate on their own robotic creations. And since the stakes are high up in space and astronauts really need reliable equipment, we would use an in-class competition as means of compelling our students to create stable, repeatably functioning tools. My graduate career at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology focused on human spaceflight, and so I was familiar with the challenges that astronauts face living and working in space. In particular, I thought that a perfect scenario for our students to engage in would be astronaut EVA, which stands for extravehicular activities. It's uh, the technical term for a spacewalk. So we designed the task to leverage the interaction of Lego robotics with wor real world objects within that theme. We chose two common spacewalk tasks, moving nuts between bolts, and the second was routing wires between twist ties. Then the students were randomly assigned to complete one of these two tasks. Each group had to build a Lego tool that would assist them with that challenge. Students had to consider the human factors of their tool, how an astronaut would use the tool while wearing a spacesuit. To simulate this, we required the students to don bulky ski gloves while operating their tool. To help set the context, I turned to one of my former advisors from MIT, a former NASA astronaut and current MIT professor Jeffrey Hoffman. Professor Hoffman is a veteran of five shuttle missions, which included four EVAs. Three of those EVAs were to fix the Hubble Space Telescope during the flight of STS-61 in 1993. Professor Hoffman has personal experience with the challenges of working in space, and he visited our class to share these with our students. This gave the students in our class an intimate view of the human factors that they would have to consider in the design of their LEGO tool. After Professor Hoffman's talk, each group of students was sent home with a mini test setup on which they could experiment. We also created larger test setups to use during the in-class competition. On competition day, we ran a single elimination bracket for each task to determine which group could complete their task quickest and most reliably. While we couldn't simulate the microgravity that astronauts experience in space, we wanted to make sure that students' designs considered this important real-world constraint. So, we had students demonstrate that their tool could work at all angles, including upside down, in the documentation they uploaded to the class website. One, go. Just as long as you don't drop on your hand. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one goes on three. I'm not going to lose enough. Three? Yeah, three. Well, it's, it's floated away. Oh, well, has it been decided to back up? While students were excited about this assignment and engaged, we found that perhaps the task was a little too easy to accomplish for a mid-semester project. In the future, we are thinking about either moving it earlier in the semester or changing some of the constraints on the challenge to better demonstrate the range of skills that they are developing within our class.